What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Character Profiles. This week we're doing Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal and we're doing Kari Tsukumo. So in the English version she's known as Kari Tsukumo. In the Japanese she's known as Akari Tsukumo. Look at the A on the start. Very clever. She's 20 years old and her anime debut is in Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal episode 1, Go With The Flow part 1. She's never dueled. So um, to my knowledge she's got zero points. She may have dueled, but I don't remember seeing her do it. Quick gist on the character, Kari Tsukumo is a character from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal series. She is the daughter of Kazuma Tsukumo and Mira Tsukumo. As well, she is the older sister of Yuma Tsukumo, the main protagonist of Zexal. Both in the manga and Japanese version of Zexal, Kari is originally known as Akari instead. Both herself and Yuma live with their grandmother, Haru. Interestingly, Kari doesn't allow Yuma to duel. According to the manga version of Astral, he believes it may have something to do with Yuma having the Emperor's Key, which might be why she doesn't want him to duel. Despite this, Haru doesn't actually mind Yuma dueling and keeps it a secret from Kari. Nice one. During episode 16, however, Kari discovered that Yuma had been dueling the whole time despite her opposition, but apparently does not mind and now permits him to duel because I guess she believes he'll be okay. Kari's name could be derived from the Norway named Kari, which is a popular female name. This name is a diminutive of Kafrin, meaning pure. The corresponding Swedish and German names for this is Karin. So, Kari typically wears her hair in a ponytail, which is red with a lighter pink colour which highlights the front of her hair. She has soft purple eyes very similar to her mother's. Usually dressed in a dark blue sleeveless jacket with an orange hood over a light blue t-shirt. She wears white pants with a brown belt and she's also been seen in other clothing throughout the series. So, we could put a little montage of her clothes in here if I can find any. But I have to say that her highlight clothing has to be her motorbike suit. It's very nice. Kari can be a tad self-centered at times, occasionally sending others out to find her scoops to make reports on, even if it is dangerous or hazardous. She can also be quite aggressive, showing to be willing to physically attack Yuma when she caught him dueling, though it is possible she was just trying to do this to intimidate him to stop him from doing any more. Despite this, Kari genuinely cares for her little brother and seems to be rather protective of him. She made a promise to her parents that she would do whatever she can to take care of him. As a teenager though, she was actually quite jealous that Yuma got more attention from their parents than she did. However, as time has gone by, she seemingly has gotten over this amniosity that she might have had between them, so it's all cool now. Also, Kari's car was a memento from her father and she drives it with great care. Highly intelligent, Kari is a disciplined, hard-working journalist who spends every waking moment searching for the next big scoop. She has been seen to be quite technologically savvy as well, being able to hack computers to stop a computer virus. She also has a black belt in karate, which she actually used to stop the computer virus as well with her karate skills. Okay. Kari is also friends with Bronk's sister, who is also a journalist. And by the way, she also owns a motorbike, so she kind of could have fit into the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds universe, because, you know, she could totally play a card game on a motorcycle. Oh wait, she can't duel. Never mind. In the past, Kari and Yuma were very close and didn't like the fact that their parents went on so many trips. When her father injured himself during a snowstorm accident, she noticed the pendant in his hand as he was being taken to hospital. In the past as well, Kari was also seen to be very jealous of the attention that Yuma received from their parents, as he was the youngest. Her parents notice this and tell her that even though she thinks it, it isn't true and that they may pay more attention to Yuma because he is frail and that one day they will rely on Kari to look after Yuma while they go on trips. It is also shown that while Kari was at high school, she developed a relationship with Charlie McKay, a gambler who was known for being a daredevil. One night, he kissed Kari before driving away on a motorbike. It is assumed that he never returned after promising her he would. She kept his motorbike as a memento next to her garage and drives it sometimes when she finds out about a hot scoop which requires her to be swift. As well, she also used her father's car while he was around. And unfortunately, to my knowledge, Kari has never dueled and doesn't have a deck, so 
can't really do any of this, so yeah, I guess that's the end of the episode. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, favorite, and subscribe. Tell me who you'd think you'd like to see next time. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching.